Alright y'all, this one has some explicit content for mature audiences only. I'm particularly targeting parents of preteens and teenagers to let y'all know about a substance that they can get high on that is in your house right now. And it can cause death in one breath. Your kid could be getting high. Some people call it huffing, bagging, whip the bits, uh, huff, full, white out, uh, stuff like that. And people inhale the chemicals to get high. to all kinds of stuff. Dizziness, slurred speech, numbness throughout your body, passing out, paranoia, if you see any chemical, chemical soaked rags, um, definitely a red flag. And it can lead to irreversible brain damage, memory loss, and some sort of sudden sniffing death syndrome which is a real thing where you die really quickly and it's rare for EMS to save an inhalant overdose case um, and there's not a lot of research on it because people die so quickly and even one time can have lifelong effects there's no safe amount There was this old promotional campaign where people spent millions of dollars to try to educate teens about the dangers of inhalants, and it backfired. It's better to teach younger children in elementary school before they hit that high-risk age of 12 to 17. And if you need help, if you need someone to talk to, you can talk to someone you trust, your doctor, a counselor, school nurse. There's all kinds of resources out there. And you can even go online and be anonymous. Here's where Vicky gets a little personal. I have a secret to confess that I myself used to be a huffer. I didn't even know what it was till I was like 12 years old. Had some girlfriends over hanging out, and one of us was like, Hey, y'all ever try this? So most of us tried it, and Everyone else was good with like one puff. And I was like, no, I need some more of that. Because it was euphoric in both physical and a mental way. And right now I'm walking past a can of whipped cream, which is coincidentally. So yeah. Which she introduced me to it, and I had that feeling. I kept wanting and kept doing it. Like I said, it was euphoric. Um, I would hallucinate. I would be tingly all over. And I got to the point where I was huffing regularly, daily. That was my thing. And the particular product I favored was literally a block down the road at the dollar store. So, you know, I could scrounge up change from around the house and get high. And the hallucinations could go good. 
go to good places like my mom had this, you know, those fish in the water shower curtains. And I was in the shower, you know, huffing. And I felt like I was just in the ocean. You know, it was really cool. But at the same time, I would have been of a horrible, horrible, disturbing thing. Which would just increase the paranoia. And the interesting thing about coughing is inhalants make your heart more sensitive to certain chemicals, like adrenaline. So, if you get scared while you're high, you're more likely to have your heart stop. So, it's wicked dangerous. But I didn't know that when I started. Like I said, I didn't even know what. But, um, until I was in a rehab center. And, you know, they do the intake, they do many drugs, anything else. And I was like, well, I do this sometimes. And you kind of freaked out a little like, yeah. You know, because it's, it is what it is. That's what I learned with that, about this, about seven different deaths of both. And, thankfully, I have not done it in a very long time. Very long time, probably like 20 years. And it is an addiction. Like, I can still taste it sometimes. And sometimes I still feel craving. Not for that, but for the physical and the mental euphoria. And it really, you know, it really messed up my life, I would say. At the time, for sure, I would do insane things. And I could have totally killed myself. And ultimately... What got me to stop is I was afraid of dying. I didn't want to die. So, yeah. That's part of my life.